getting that check from my dad. Yo, like, I'm proud of you, son. You're on the right path. There were times where, you know, even after, like, I took this gap year where I was like, fuck, like, did I make the wrong decision? I could have been, like, back at school, like, partying and getting fucked up, all these girls. And, like, you know, here I am, like, alone, like, by myself, like, grinding. And the company's falling apart. And my partner is, like, fucking completely MIA. And this, I'm, like, my right-hand guy is, like, trying to extort me for equity. And TikTok's banning every single video we put up. And, you know, the whole entire world feels like it's caving in. So are you originally from New York? Uh, so I was actually born in London. Um, oh shit. In London four years. Uh, but I grew up in like New York, like pretty much my whole entire childhood. Oh wow, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Why, why did you guys move to New York? Um, my mom's family like is, is from New York. And so I think like my mom like really wanted to be around family. And so mm -hmm. uh, that was kind of what like prompted them to to make that trip back from London to, to America. Both my parents are American. Um, they were just like um, working abroad, yeah. That's pretty cool, that's, how, how do, I'm guessing then if they were working abroad, like they probably went to school, how did they take the news of you, or maybe I'm wrong, but how did they take yeah, the news of you dropping out? Yeah, yeah, I mean like I come from a family of like high achievers and like very, very corporate. Um, uh, my dad is in finance, my mom was in consulting, my mom went to like Harvard Business School in Columbia, and my sister goes to Yale. Um, God my, damn. Dad, my dad's like brilliant, um, he, he couldn't afford to go to a good school, so he ended up going to like some state school when he was growing up, but like, um, in any case, um, so like come from like a very kind of traditional, um, like pressure cooker type house household. <laughs> And, you know, like my parents would threaten me all the time, like all the time, like they were to take away my business, you know, if I didn't like, you know, study the books or like get a better like practice SAT score, uh, like whatever, like little like, you know, side project I was running because like that's what like drew my attention and like that's what I was always passionate about um, since I was like 14 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I mean, like when I first told, I, I never like, I never dropped out, like it first started off with like, hey, like I'm going to go from full time to part time and then it's like, hey, like I'm going to take a gap year. And then it's like, yo, I can take up to 10 gap years, um, you know, technically with the school. So like, you know what I mean? It's kind of, yeah. it's kind of like, like a slow um, descent rather than like, yo, like I'm piecing out. That's super um, smart. Uh, yeah, I mean, like at first, like my dad was really, I mean, both, both my dad and my mom, but especially my dad were like super, super anti, uh, you know, going off on an unconventional path. But um, over time, like they started to see the light um, and they become like very supportive. Um, and, 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 and yeah, like very proud of me. I, I remember like my, my dad, my dad's a bit of a hardo. Um, he grew up in Italy. Um, so again, like a very traditional household and, you know, the times back then were like different. Um, right. Yeah. Like just very, like, to the way that like parents would interact, like with their kids, like not, not, you know, like my dad was like beat when he was a kid and like spanked and, you know, all that shit. Mm -hmm. And like, he, he never talked to me growing up, but like, you know, he thought that he was probably being a saint, but like. He was, he was very tough. He was very, very tough. Yeah. Um, and um, again, he was like very anti, like, you know, leaving school and, and, and doing some like unconventional type things. And um, I remember like recently about like two or three weeks ago, like I texted him about like a milestone that, that the company hit and I was telling him about like some of the stuff that we were doing and he sent me like a really like beautiful like text. And, oh, that's um, awesome, bro. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't want to get too like emotional or, or like savvy here, but like I just I just started crying for like 20, 30 minutes because um, like it, it just meant a lot like coming from from my dad. and Yeah, yeah, dude, that sounds awesome, especially knowing like, you know, how I can totally relate because my family has also been kind of like that. Like we lived abroad and, you know, my parents, both of them went to school and they were like placed a big value yeah. on that. So I'm sure that felt that meant the world, you know, to get that yeah. sense of approval. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I think that was like probably like one of like my like my, my my favorite moments of like my journey thus far is like getting that like kind of you know like check from my dad like yo like I'm proud of you son and like you're on the right path and like whatever because uh, yeah I mean he means the world to me like my whole family does and um, he doesn't like toss toss those kinds of like praises or words right. out like like so, yeah that makes uh, it that much more meaningful. And I mean, what's yeah. really cool is that you also did it your own way. Like, it's not, you didn't do this, like, cookie cutter, like, you made no. it. It was, like, totally went into the unknown. So I'm sure he has a sense yeah. of relief now. That's awesome. 
I, don't, I mean, it was a roller coaster too, man. Like it wasn't just like, hey, like right off the bat, like zero to a hundred, right? Like there, I mean, there were there were times where you know, even after like I took this gap year, where I was like, fuck, like did I make the wrong decision? Like I could, you know, I could have been like back at school, like partying and you know, getting fucked up and you yeah. know, all these girls or whatever, whatever. And like you know, here I am, like alone, like by myself, like grinding, and the company's falling apart and. Uh, my partner is like fucking completely MIA and this like my right hand guy is like trying to extort me for equity and like the you know TikTok's banning every single video we put up and you know the whole entire world feels like it's caving in uh, which I think like makes the journey like all that more like satisfying and rewarding rewarding honestly um, like all those like scars like builds you know uh, tissue and, 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 and just like like even more strength um, and gratitude for like you know the highs as well.